Tonight on Studio One, the 16-year-old who wowed singer Jessie J. Uh, Elham joins Corrine Hutton and she gets her new prosthetics. And the Festival of Food continues with Chef Andy Campbell. Oh, yes, festival styling. It could only be Studio One. Live from Dubai. Good evening and welcome to another edition of, you guessed it, Studio One. Uh, tonight we meet 16-year-old uh, Esther, who went from classroom to the main stage at Redfest DXB, thanks to who else than Jesse J. And we continue a story that touched many of us as Alham catches up with quadruple amputee Corinne Hutton as she returns to Dubai for her new prosthetics. Uh, plus, it's still carnival time here in the UAE. Gourmet Abu Dhabi ongoing at the moment. Just round the corner, we've got the carnival, the festival of food uh, here in Dubai. So we're having our own little carnival in the kitchen. Andy Campbell is in charge over there today. AC, what are you doing for us? Hi, good evening. Yeah, it's right in the height of the uh, growing season, so I've been out to some farms in the last couple of days, and I've picked up some locally grown bok choy, some lovely Chinese leaves. I've got some chilies from my garden, uh, some baby marrows, we've got uh, spring onions, we've got mushrooms, chicken, gluten-free noodles, tomatoes, all oh, sorts wow. of little goodies. It sounds so healthy and fresh. Looking forward to what he's going to whip up for us. I've got a bone to pick with it. He said it was all from his garden earlier uh -huh. on. No, not all of it. <laughs> not all of it. Now. Just a couple of things. Just changing it now. <laughs> well, if you'd like to get in touch with Chef Andy, I'll find out how you, you could prepare this dish along with him at home. Log on to our Facebook fan page for the recipe, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. Now, last December, Elham got the chance to meet uh, Kareen, a strong-willed lady from Scotland, who underwent a quadruple amputation as a result of septicemia. She was here for a special fitting session for her new prosthetics and invited Elhan to tag along. Where Corinne is in her rehabilitation at the moment um, is at, as at a stage where we, we need to um, have contingency measures for different things. The, the, the main thing is she's still at the stage where she has volume changes in her stump. Um, so what we did is we worked with a silicone interface. That's a, a silicone sleeve that slides on directly onto the, onto, the, onto the stump. And this locks into the prosthesis. Um, it's, it's, it's probably not the best system that is available, but it's the best system for where she is at now. So at the end of the day, she won't be as tired. Um, a lot of the energy that would normally be lost, she actually regrains with the, with the carbon properties of the prosthetic foot, uh, the energy is returned. As well as being able to move. So she's got rotation, she's got forward tilt, backwards tilt, and, and, and that's the system she's on. They feel very different to the old ones, um, the old lumps of plastic I had. So they feel very different, um, they're very, very tight, very secure, so that will take a bit of adjustment, I'll need to get used to that. So it's different, but I already feel I have good posture and my stride is, is a bit better. So with this final fitting, hopefully they'll be all good and it will continue to get better and better. I now have an ankle joint and a flexible foot and that will give me a lot better balance side to side, front and back. Um, like, like everyone has a, an ankle joint, the last ones were a bit solid and rigid. I feel stable and capable of walking, but I previously used crutches, so now I have no crutches. Um, so I just have to get the balance right. Everything's working from my core and make sure I'm supported well. So uh, yeah, I'm walking a lot better in general. I've been working hard on it. And we, there's a bit of tweaking still required. I'll, I'll be spending a couple of hours with her tonight, just getting everything perfect and, and, and fine that she can go home tomorrow, she can take it on, put it off and, and, and be comfortable with, with everything. Let's start off just on extension. Very good. Now flexion. Very good. Extension. Uh, when I was working with Charlie earlier, he showed me the bionic hand and it's, it's incredible that I can think about opening my hand and it opens. 
I think about closing my hand and the bionic hand closes. It's uh, very, very clever. I'm, I'm really excited about getting hands that work for me and, and that can do all the things that I currently can't do. The thing with the myoelectric hand is um, we, we need a couple of weeks. We, we, we need her to spend some time here. It's a very intimate fitting process and, and she doesn't have the time, unfortunately. So Friday of Heat's been doing well. There's a lot of events that have happened in the UK and around the world and there's a few more planned. But also it's now turning slightly where I hope soon it will be less about me finding my feet and me helping other people find their feet. So that's when it gets exciting for me, interesting for me to be able to help other people. I think now it's obvious to me that everything I used to be able to do, I will be able to do soon with the help of Charles and my family and, and my support group. So I think um, I would love to be able to show people that no matter what problems you've had and, and your injuries, um, there is always a way of doing what you want to do. So hopefully we can help people with that and I can help people be positive about what, what they can do in their future. Thank you. You're very kind, thank you. She's, she's incredibly brave. She's not walked in here one day without a smile. She's not walked in here one day without willing to give 100% of her best. And to do that from the point of view with what she's experienced is a real wake up call. And I, I've been honored. I've been honored to meet her as, as everybody that, that gets to interact with her will, will tell you. Corinne is proof that along with experts advice, a positive attitude is what's needed to achieve complete cure. And as she walks down her road to recovery, she will stop at nothing. Great stuff there from uh, Elham. All our best, of course, to Corinne and all the team at Finding Your Feet. Time now for a quick break. When we come back, the surprise star of Redfest EXP. Uh, you heard it here, not first, because it was last weekend at Redfest <laughs> EXP. Esther Eden Fernandez, name for the future, after this. back to Studio One. Now there was a big fuss going on this last weekend at the Red Fest DXP Music Festival and it wasn't because of all the stars performing. Nope. It was because of one particular young girl called uh, Esther Eden Fernandez. Now I think we should christen Esther Eden F now because she was spotted by Jessie J <laughs> performing at the Aldiapa <laughs> High School, chosen to perform at the festival in front of more than 10 thousand fans. Here's the moment Jessie J realized that she had discovered someone special. Uh, so we'll try and get that VT to you <laughs> in due course uh, and we'll uh, play it to you during the interview but the one thing that I can guarantee is that hang on I think we have been able to find that now a few glitches in the system so let's just have a look at the moment that Jessie Found Esther. story uh, and the lady herself is here with us thank you so much indeed for being with us thank you for having me uh, <laughs> it, it, it's a great story I love this one but tell me because a good friend of the show Chris Fade has been uh, tweeting us directly uh, since he heard that you were coming on he said listen you've got to ask Esther how she nearly didn't get on stage to perform at the school which would have prevented you from being yeah. seen by Jesse J which yeah. meant you wouldn't have been at Redfest DXP exactly. so you almost didn't get on stage is that mm -hmm. right yeah I almost didn't because she had to go for a sound check and they were running out of time and I'm like Chris Fitt, please get <laughs> me on stage and I almost cried my friend was holding my hand on one side my friend was begging him from the other side I'm in the middle almost crying and he was like because you were organizing the event is that right um, or not or you were involved with the organization yeah I was involved yeah. with it so I really wanted to do my song and we already had done 
three songs of hers. Mm. So we had performed her songs and they were running out of time. I'm like, please, Crispy, just this <laughs> one time, please just help me out. And then he was like, okay, fine. Really? I, and, I wasn't, and I wasn't sure because he was just like, I don't think we can do it. And suddenly he announces on the mic, okay, one last song. <laughs> and this is by Esther and she's done her original song just for you, Jessie J. So here we have her. Oh, wow. And Fantastic. Like, That's <laughs> history, Yeah, isn't it? I know. I mean, thanks to Chris Fate for giving you that platform. Congratulations yeah, on that. So now, Esther, tell me why you? Because I believe that there was so many, uh, there was so much talent out there. So yeah. many people performed. Mm -hmm. But what do you think worked in your favor? I think it's because I, um, first of all, I'm very passionate about music. Mm. I love music. I'm into dance, music, singing, and anything to do with music. And I had written my original song. So I think that like, captured her into mm. me more than anything else. Your own song, so you wrote the lyrics yeah. and everything. Yeah, I did everything. Wow. She picked uh, up on your talent. Yeah. Did you get an opportunity to speak to Jessie uh, at the school, at the event? Um, well, not really, but as I mean, her introduction was just enough. I mean, that just made me happy because before I came on stage at the Red Fest, mm. she gave me this big introduction and yeah, yeah. everyone was <laughs> screaming. It's on YouTube now. Yeah. It's going mental, yeah. isn't it? it the is. whole thing. Yeah. What was it like facing, I mean, such a big crowd? Because, I mean, <laughs> till now you were just a fan of Jessie J yeah. trying to, you know, perform in front of her at a school. Yeah. And next thing you know, boom, like 10,000 yeah. people. What was that like? Um, in school, I was pretty nervous because <laughs> we had no time. But when it came to 10,000 people screaming for me, I got pretty confident. Oh, that made you confident, yeah. is it? <laughs> because it was pretty supportive. So I pretty much enjoyed that. Mm. That was amazing. You've got a lot. You've done a lot of covers. I've seen that yes. uh, on, on your YouTube yeah. channel. That's up there, and they're getting a huge amount of hits at the moment. Thank the hits you. and the likes and the yeah. and the followers are going through the roof. Is yes, that right? Yes, completely. Um, I've got so many followers on Instagram. I've got subscribers on YouTube. Everyone's enjoying it. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and did Jessie J upload that video which she took of yours on her phone? Well, not yet, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I hope it's soon. That's what I, she told yeah. me. That it's her ringtone at the moment. <laughs> <as> well, <so. laughs> <laughs> um, but what uh, fascinates me about you is the fact that uh, you're very comfortable doing covers, uh, yeah. as you said, but also love creating your own music as yes, well, I writing do. your own material yeah. as well. Is that something that you want to do more of in the future? Definitely. I do want to write music. I do want to become a singer. I mean, I'm trying so hard right now because Jessie J actually gave me this one shot and it's pretty supportive and it's motivating me even more to do mm. much more. Mm. Mm. So I mean, th the last time something similar happened, we had this boy, J Josh, on Josh, the show yeah. who opened for, uh, who did he Alicia, open for? Alicia, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Alicia Keys. Okay. And he became, I mean, such a sensation again from a yeah. Virgin Radio platform and he opened for our New Year's Eve festival. So do you think, have people been approaching you since this whole Jesse J thing happened um, for more opportunities? Yes, they have, but I'm still trying to check out, I mean, what I can get into. I need the right person to help me out. Mm. You know, I mean, one thing with music is once you get into it, you have to stay into it. Mm. You either have your big break or you don't. Mm. So I need my big break to last a well, very long time. You've had a pretty big break over the last uh, yes. week or so, that's <laughs> yes, for sure. Have. And what I'm interested to know is that you're very much involved in the local music scene here. You yeah. encourage others who are yes, talented as well. Yes, with, with regards to that pool of talent, you've had an amazing opportunity, yes, a big break, as you yeah. mentioned there. Are, is there some very talented musicians out there looking for that break? There are so many. I mean, there are so many children that really want their big break here. We're just trying to capture so you need that moment. platform? Yes, you need. I do. Oh. Yeah. Okay, for everyone. Yeah, everyone right. needs it right now. Well, Esther, uh, we hope you're practicing nice and hard because, I mean, this itself is a huge push for you. Yes, and congratulations on Thank that. And so thanks much. to Chris Fate for giving you that yes. opportunity. You Thank definitely you so were the chosen one. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Just going through a few of the tweets as mm. well that came through after the thing. Let's flying in still as well. Amazing last night. Well done. You should feel so proud. You should indeed Thank as you well. So thanks much. for watching, indeed. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. Get yourself there. That's where you can find uh, all the links to get in touch with Esther, a star of the future. Time for another break. Once we come back in the kitchen with Chef Andy Campbell. That's after this. Welcome back to Studio One. Andy Campbell causing trouble in the kitchen at the moment. Uh, you mentioned all these beautiful, lovely ingredients <laughs> they brought down there. A bit David Bellamy, that, yeah, wasn't it? Say, uh, wonderful vegetables in the garden. Well, yeah. well, what are you, how are you going to bring them all together in a dish? What are you going to come up with? First okay, there's one thing I forgot to tell you is, is <laughs> what we're doing. We're doing a stir fry, uh, basically something nice and quick and simple. Yeah. Uh, 
The key is some chicken, you could use duck, but what I've got is I've got this five spice here I've ground up. And you've, you you've done this, you've yeah, made I make this at all home. my own spices, yeah. so you get all the, fla you know, the real flavours oh, in lovely. there. Lovely, look at yeah. that. Got any idea what the five spices are? Oh, I, I wouldn't no? know where to start. Uh, okay. So I'll leave I it can't you. remember, I'll, no. just, I'll tell you another time. Four five spice. That's right, so Very what good. we'll do is we'll put a little bit of oil into the pan. Okay, yeah. nice and hot, let that sizzle up. We'll get the chicken in here. And you're saying that literally it's just a couple of minutes for this yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, fine. And then what we've got here, so we've got some uh, Chinese cabbage here. Yeah. We've got some puk choy. Yeah. Um, and then we've got this uh, zucchini or courgette or baby marrow even, they call it here. And I've just cut it into little ribbons. How did you make it look like spaghetti? Got a little machine that oh, does all that. Okay. But we haven't got enough space to do it here. That is fine. And then from my garden, I've got some muli, which is white radish. Yes. And you can use this in curries as well. I've also got fresh chilies. This is great evidence, the fact this that everything is, in, is probably in season at the moment, That's isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. I've been out to the farms this last yeah. week and doing some write-ups of some magazines. So it's great stuff. And you've got some shiitake mushrooms. Yes. And these have got medicinal powers for the tummy. Okay. So they're good for the digestion. Soothing. I've got a bit of fennel, which is also good for the digestion. Okay. Um, some garlic and chilli. And then I've got some ginger. I ran out of the other ginger, so I've got some of this pickled ginger and oh, I've just wonderful. sliced okay. it up. So, so it ain't only delicious, it's good for you as well. It is. I think the main thing is, see what you've got in the cupboard. Yep. You don't have to follow recipes exactly. Yep. Just make it up a little bit as yourself. Talking of the making up, go on, give us a quick, give us a okay. bit of a hint to what's in the okay. fire spice. Cinnamon, yep. cloves, yep. Uh, cinnamon, cloves, Sichuan pepper, yep. uh, let's think, star anise yep. and fennel. That's it, that's, that's the five, it, that's isn't the five. it? That's the five, this is. So, and, and, and very and easy to do at home, Glenn, if, if you want a bit of el elbow grease and the pestle and mortar. The most important thing, yeah, no, but it's better if this one here is just tips upside down yep. and it goes onto a, a spice grinder. Now, the most important thing when you're doing spices is to get the spice and dry roast it first. Okay. And let it go cool. Yep. Otherwise, the moisture comes on it and it goes off quickly. Okay, nice So tip. let it cool, then grind it up. And then just do smaller quantities and use what you need. And that's going to keep for a while, isn't it? It is, but I'll probably use it at the weekend for right. a barbecue. Okay, look at that. Well, we're all coming round. Brilliant. <laughs> all round Andy for a barbecue. <laughs> okay. So, chickens. Um, so what, we've got a couple of minutes left on this. So okay, so we'll just start we'll putting a bit more oil in. Your, how long for your chicken, as you said? It's just a couple of minutes. A few minutes. Really. So I'm just going to put the mushrooms in now. Yeah. Get this going along. And the five spice has gone on to the chicken in the first place, yeah? Sorry, the yes. I've just done that just to give it a bit of flavour. Yeah. And then I'm just going to wish that around the pan. Yeah. Put the garlic and the chilli in. Yeah. A bit more oil. This pan's quite dry. Don't you worry. They call it seasoning the pan with yep. the oil. Okay, okay. So we'll do that. We'll get a bit of courgette and in there. Talking pans. I mean, if you've got a wok at home or something like that. Yes. Could you, could you use a kin yeah. hum? Yeah, you, of course you can. Okay. Hope so stir that around. The plug there for you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> stir that around. Then what we'll do is we use this tamari. Now tamari is wheat free soy sauce okay okay so there's the gluten people have a gluten aspect a little bit of that in so there so is this a gluten free dish or not it is it certainly is the pasta the pasta here is from this konjac plant you love that don't you, I you do, did it I last do. Time. well it is it's because it's high fiber and you can eat so much of it because it's low in carbohydrate mm. so you can have it a couple of times a week and uh, keep the old pounds off so i'm going to put that in yeah and this 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 konjac thing i mean what, you literally just you drain that, do you? You drain it, you put it into a bowl, I put a bit of um, apple vinegar in it, yeah. because it's in a uh, sort of, uh, it's in a shell solution, so it smells a little bit fishy. Okay. So you take that uh, ester away from it, and uh, strain it, and that's it. <laughs> right, uh, that's available at all uh, good retailers at the moment? It's usually from health food shops. Okay, cool. And then a few of these tomatoes, just for colour. Uh, we're into our last two minutes, is that alright with you? That's fine, yeah, we're all sure? good. Yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely good. fine. So we've got the uh, little uh, baby tomatoes gone in as well. Yep, you see that's all mixing up. I suppose the beauty of this dish is you could use pretty much whatever is in the fridge. You go home and say, what have I got, let's fresh. Uh, nothing. We've got nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you, if, if you look at it another way, you could have things like edinami beans, you could have fava beans in the freezer. <laughs> Fava beans and <laughs> <laughs> stop it. Right, I can't concentrate. Sorry. So that's all mixed up. Good. And if we had really powerful uh, heat, that would uh, be better, but that's oh what we got. Right. This all heat, why not? You know, no, it's not it. the pans, <laughs> okay. the heat. Now, the main thing with this, if you're doing a stir fry, don't take it off the heat. But you get these chefs and they keep wiggling it all around yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you've lost all the heat. Okay, so you want to retain that heat. Retain in the, pan, the heat. Yeah? We've got okay. it there. 
Okay. And what with all these carnivals coming up, is it a good time to get out and about, get some new ideas? A bit of I think so, yeah. And you yeah. meet all your friends from the year before. And, uh, and know, avoid lots them. Of, <laughs> no, 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 it's great, actually. It's great. There's lots of, lot of invitations and after-show parties. Oh, and right, there's plenty okay. of stuff going on. So well, it's really good. I certainly really haven't got time. the invites for that, that's for well, sure. You're too busy That's working, aren't you? With so what we'll do is we'll it? just put this in here. Yeah. We've got forks. Could use uh, chopsticks if you wanted to, I suppose. Yeah, I can't manage them, I'm afraid. No? no. You're, a, you're, a, you're, a, you're a fork man through I and through, I certainly are. You? are. I, went, I went through the whole of China and I had to carry a <laughs> fork with myself because <laughs> I couldn't do it. That's so brilliant. what we'll do... No, it's just really embarrassing, actually. Right, let's get Ash over to try right. this. Uh, how are you going to um, uh, right. dress that one? So we're going to do a little bit of black and white sesame seeds. Lovely. And you could put some sprigs of coriander. Yeah. The old rudimentary spring onions, always with a Chinese type food. Look at that. Okay, a bit more of this. Looks good, doesn't it? And then we'll it put a few beautiful. of these white radish. Here we go. Oh, wow. So you've got a little bit of different in texture. It's a, a nice healthy portion as well. It's, eh? it's, well, it's really for two people, but then you could, uh, you know, both of you share. Sharing dish, isn't it? Sharing dish. No, yeah, please, don't burn. We have burn. a big appetite. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget that. I'll try not to burn my mouth please. this time. <laughs> it's because it's straight out of the pan that's the problem. Yeah. So the tip that's coming through you is, 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 get, is, get, is get your hands dirty. Get yourself out get in the garden. Get a few things. Get a few things in, in the fridge. Okay, have a few things maybe in the freezer, and then you can always do th you can always do these things. You could have a couple of chicken supremes in the freezer and defrost them in, you know, half an hour. Be yeah. careful that it's steaming hot. You can yeah. see. It is so nice and fresh. I love it. What what do you call this kind of noodles, chef? These they're basically called uh, the gluten-free yeah. needles. Kojak. 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 But you need the ball back there. But the gluten-free noodles. But you can use kelp noodles. You could also use. Um, Buckwheat, rice, a perfect accompaniment to a perfect dish is some wonderful music as well, playing out this evening uh, with Esther F, an original indeed. Great to have you. Beautiful yeah. song and congratulations to Esther. And Chef, thank you so thank much. You. This dish is absolutely rocking. If you'd like to find out how this is prepared, log on to our Facebook Great. fan page, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. It is delicious. Thank you. That is lush. Thanks so much for tuning so in. Uh, thank you very much to all of our guests. As as it says, see you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>